Hello everyone, for today's video we're doing a Christie in the Bouton haul because we went to Vista Village and we bought quite a few things, didn't we? Yeah, a few bits and bobs. Yes, yeah, so we've got five pairs of shoes between us, so we thought this would be a great standalone video because I haven't really seen any really Christie in the Bouton unboxings in any kind of Vista Village haul because it's very hard to get in there. So we did go early in the morning and we went straight there and it was the first shop we went to and we managed to get in, but because they only allow four people in the store at a time, they closed the queue, like, after a couple of people have joined. So I know how hard it is to get into, so I thought this would be a really great video. It would be really interesting so you can get to know the type of items they have. I know they're always changing, but also the prices. So, who shall we start? Shall I start? Because I've got three. Okay. And we've got two. I so I'll start. We also went tried to go in there a few times, but we didn't yeah. get in. So we have been trying to get in there for ages since it's all popped open and, I know. Yeah, and then the lockdown happened and then they did the queue in and then we could not get in there so we thought oh we need to get there early <laughs> so we just turned up early one day and we managed to get in so. Yeah well we did get in once before but they didn't have any of the sizes. This yeah. time they did which was great so the bags behind us they're because it was raining so they put these bags in those bags to help protect it. So the first thing I got was a pair of trainers which I'm really excited about. So with these ones, you get two dust bags. It's because they're more delicate, because you'll see in a moment. So I get two dust bags for the shoes. Here are the trainers, and I love them. So they say Le Bouton there in like the rhinestones. I think they call it Strauss, Strauss or something. But it's got the rhinestones here, which are so shimmery. They're at the front, and then you've got the little Le Bouton logo, and obviously you've got the red sole at the bottom. And this is in a suede material, so I wouldn't wear it when it's raining or anything like that. Um, obviously, I wouldn't want them to get ruined. But these were originally 1,500, and in the store I got them for 745. Or yeah. 765. I think it was 745 or 765. I will um, double check and I'll pop it in if it's different. But yeah, 745. So they're still expensive, but considering they were one and a half thousand, um, that's basically 50% off. Yeah. So I was really pleased with them and I love them. And I think because of the colour, they go with lots of different things. So I'm really, really pleased with them. Do you want to show your... Do you know what I love about the Le Bouton? Well, is that the red at the bottom is so nice. Yeah. It goes with anything. Because usually I know. these two colours would clash. But it just looks nice, doesn't but it? But it just looks so good. And also, that's such a nice quality sole. I don't I don't own any Le Bouton trainers. These are my first pair. And the sole is so thick. And it just feels such good quality. They're made in Italy. Like the whole shoe, and oh by the way also, these are so comfortable. I know sometimes designer shoes can be really uncomfortable and you think for the price you're paying, how are they uncomfortable? But they're all like leather and cushioned on the inside, like yeah. they're so comfy, they aren't they? They have like a structured feel. So when you put, no, normally yeah. when you buy trainers, I've got loads of pair of trainers, like Nike, Adidas, all that. But sometimes you can, I normally look a nine in them because they do a little bit of like, they do stretch a little have bit a and they're gear. soft. Yeah. But you know, the Boutons or, you know, sort of more high-end trainers, they always have some type of structure to them. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, get your actual foot size. You can't just get, like, a 9 and then switch to a 10 or something like that. Or Although mine was the opposite with these. So I'm normally a size 7 and I had to get a size 6. Oh, really? So I actually have to size down in Le Bouton trainers um, to a size 6. But I think it's different for men and women. So for me, I had to size down. And for you, you had to go your... Yeah, so like when, I, size, when I buy yeah. like shoes for like a suit or anything like that, I normally go for a 10. Or if I like buy boots, I buy a guy, go for a 10. But normally for trainers, yeah. I normally get like a 9. Um, yeah. So it just feels a bit more snug. But these I went for, well, not them, obviously my ones, I went for a 10. <laughs> Do you want to show yours? So, the elastic round does for some reason. <laughs> well, this is a huge box. I love these. I love these so much. So when I, when I walked in there and I wasn't too sure about like what, like, because you know, normally when you, a guy goes into the shop, there's like, there's normally a huge area for women and then a small area for men. So I was really like skeptical mm. that I'd actually be able to get anything. It's 50 /50, But I was though. so surprised I managed to get it. I yeah. love these. I walked in and straight away I was like, these, I want these straight away. <laughs> I love these uh, so much. So with, same as Rebecca's, they come with uh, two dust bags for each trainer. And yeah, so that's just because mine has the rhinestones and Aaron's has the glitter. Um, but if you just get the plain ones or with the studs, then you get just one dust bag. Yeah, this is what they look like. So they've got the glitter on the side, which is beautiful. And actually this, it looks green in some angles, but in other angles, it actually looks black. 
yeah. and then you've got the spikes. I really want my next pair to have the studs on because I love the studs so much. And then you've got them at the back and yeah. obviously the red sole. Nice red sole. I would have said some close ups as well, so you'll see some front. close ups. See, I I wanted some Louboutins for a while, like a long time, and ever yeah. since I saw my first of a pair of Louboutins, I was like, I want the ones with the, the spikes London, on. London, yeah, I love the spikes, but yeah. the women's ones, they had some with the spikes, but not many. The spikes are cheaper, so the ones with the rhinestones are always the most expensive. The spikes aren't necessarily more expensive, you would think they would be. So these were, I think these were 500 and, again, 545 or 565, and what was the original price? These uh, ones? I think it was around like the £800 mark. Around £800. So you're still making like a decent saving, you know, because obviously Le Bouton, normally you don't really get Le Bouton in the sale. And we've been to the store like in like Harrods and stuff in London and just to be able to get a reduction on them is brilliant. Yeah. So, and you know, they're amazing. I yeah. mean, I'm not one I for seasonal styles. I don't really care if it's seasonal yeah. or not. If I love the shoe, I love the shoe. Yeah, I was lucky because they only had one size 10 and one size 7 yeah. left for these. And there was another pair I wanted which was like sort of like, um, sort of low, not the high tops. And they, they were like almost sold out of all the lows. Yeah. Um, sizes wise. But the, the thing is, I think these ones are slightly cheaper than, for example, your ones because they don't have the rhinestones. And also, the only the boot on, obviously, apart from the red bottom, which makes it obvious, is <clears throat> small on the side here. Yeah, it's not saying, oh, the boot on in your face. Which is quite nice, but yeah, yeah. I always thought the studs were more expensive, but they're not. Anything with rhinestones is more expensive, and there's a version of mine with rhinestones all on the side, and they're like two and a half thousand. So that's kind of how it works with the pricing. But again, Aaron's is suede, so it's similar. So it's all suede, so again, won't want to wear these when it's raining. But really comfortable again, aren't they? Yeah, really comfortable. So moving on to the next item, I bought two pairs of heels. And I was really shocked by these because these are not a seasonal piece. They sell these in the Louboutin stores in London. They sell them in Harrods, Southbridges, and they're a classic style. So when I saw them in there, I was really shocked because you don't... Normally you think, oh, it's seasonal items, but no, these are classic styles. So they're the Simple Pump 100 Patent Calf Skin. And I've got a six and a half, so I'm normally a seven. I did have to size down a little bit. So you've got the little little pouch and then you've got these which just have um the heels in so like i said i was so surprised to see these they had a few of the classic heels and i've never seen classic heels in there before like when i've looked in the window so i was really shocked and these were again i can't there's always two prices i'm confused about it's either 325 or 345 and on um the website at the moment and on harry's and selfridges i think these are 545 um, if any of these prices are different, I will put them down below. But yeah, so it's a saving of around £200. And considering they're a classic style, and they still sell these, and you know, they will sell these for many years to come, I just can't believe they're in the outlet. Yeah, they're, they're really You nice. wouldn't expect it. So I picked them up in the nude, and then I'll quickly show you them in the black, because, like I said, because they were in the outlet, I thought I need to get both pairs. So these are them in the black, and I do love the black even more with the red heel. I just think it's so beautiful. But I wanted to get the nude as well, just because, like I said, there was a saving of around £200 on each pair. And yeah, they're still expensive, obviously at £300, pound, but I think that's a great price. I just can't believe, like I said, I just can't believe they're, they're in there. Yeah. Because they sell these full price. It's not even to seasonal style, so I don't know what that's about. But I'm not going to complain, and they did have a few different variations of their classic styles but um obviously i know this is going to wear but i'm going to really look after them and then you can get them resold by the authorized um they have like an authorized person who resells them and they just put a rubber bit on here and this bit's not touched but yeah they are beautiful i'm in love i know They're the nice. red on the black i know the red on the black so striking so nice. isn't it yeah and then aaron's got one more pair so do you want to show your pair so these I got really more for like when I go away on holiday. So yeah. hopefully when we can go back on holiday, <laughs> might be able to get some joy out of them. They were, I think, £265. Yeah. Again, I'll put the pricing if they're different. And the original price of these was around the 600 mark. Yes. Yeah. So they had a load of different colours of these. So they just had, um, so, um, what do you call it, like... Um, well, what do you call it? I don't know. Remember. Oh, God. oh like a shelf. 
<laughs> a shelf, okay, yeah. <laughs> After all that, so on the shelf when you walk into the store, there was like a load of these just stacked up against each other and with like a range of different colours from like a really light sort of brown colour all the way to like this dark yeah. brown. So this is the darkest that you could get. Um, and I think there was about four or five other colours, different shades of brown. Um, but I, the thing is, when I go on holiday, I really struggle to wear shoes. Yeah. Like shoes that go with like shorts, and then if I want to wear like you know chinos or something a bit longer as well, instead of um, sandals, you want some yeah, else to wear because like you know when I bought sandals before, they don't last me very long. Mm. Like I wear them, and then within the holiday, like they're like they ruined. Down, yeah. Um, but the reason why I love these so much, not only because obviously they're blue ones, is because they just feel amazing. Yeah. So they got the like the leather inside. They feel really nice and structured. I feel like I can walk. A, a while in these before <laughs> like they start to you yeah. know um look a bit old but um but no I'm, i was really chuffed to find these and um just really happy to have a proper pair of like summer shoes really yeah because these wear. are like espadrilles but what's really different is normally espadrilles aren't that comfortable you've got a proper rubber thick rubber sole the rubber sole actually goes to here and it's a thick rubber sole but also on the inside it's all leather and not like soft comfy leather but normally on espadrilles you get that hard uncomfortable stuff on the inside yeah. but these are really comfortable aren't they you said yeah they are really i comfy. love the design they're really quite i know you've got the red sole but they are like quite understated they're not like in your face mm. you know just says cl here for christina bouton and i just think the quality and the price i think you cannot go wrong with the price yeah. of these because I, I would never like for example i don't really wear these types of shoes no like i wouldn't normally i wouldn't normally go and buy something like this to wear um it's not really me <laughs> but these i was just so impressed with yeah. just the, the structure like the they quality. feel so good um and i just know that you know I won't just hopefully not just look good, but yeah. they feel good and, you know, I'll be comfortable in them when I'm walking. Because we do a lot of walk on holiday. Yeah, we walk low, yeah. so. <laughs> so. But yeah, so that's everything we got from Christian Bouton and Vista Village. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and we will get back to you about them. So in total, we did spend around £2,500. However, if we bought all of this in a store in London, it would have been 5000 Yeah. So, like... Probably more. You know, a lot of these, this stuff was almost 50% off. I think it was like 45, 50%. So um, obviously a few bits weren't, but we made, there were some great savings in there. Really, if you want to get in, I'd recommend going early for when it opens and going straight to that store because we got there and within 15 minutes, they closed the queue. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then I think the wait was like a few mm. hours. So and we wouldn't yeah. normally go in and buy this many shoes all in one go. No, um, no, no. We're normally back. Although I think the reason we bought so many is I think it was the heels. I would have just got the trainers, but I was so surprised to see the heels. I yeah. thought at the price, I've just got to pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to wear them for a while, I've got them and now when I want them. As yeah. Well, when we went in there yeah. before, like we've only been there twice since it's opened. And yeah. uh, the first time we didn't put anything because we didn't have our sizes, and this time we managed to get in by going there at the crack of dawn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and we just thought, get what we want now. Yeah. And then you know we've, we've got, got what it. we want. We don't feel like we need to try and you know try and get in there again at any time soon. No. So I mean, luckily we don't live too far, so it's not far. It's easy for us to go in the morning. But we did go in the morning on a Saturday, by the way. We did just think that they might have more sizes in stock, which it seems like they did. Um, well, I don't know about in the week, but they do get a delivery on Saturday morning, so mm. that might be why. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Any questions, let me know, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.